Academy. So today in this video, we'll be discussing an important binary tree interview question. So let's get started. So the problem is that we'll be given the root of a binary tree and we need to check whether it is a mirror of itself or not. That is whether it is symmetric around its center. So let's see what does this mean. So symmetric around center means that if you we like have a partition over here so this left part should be mirror image of the right part so if you see over here left part is the mirror image of the right part what is mirror image the left will become right and right will become uh, left will become right so i hope you understood what the problem is now let's see how we can approach it so see it's pretty uh, 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 like basic as we understood the problem see what we are what we have to compare we have to compare the left with the right and this left with this right right so let's say suppose we have a pointer t1 over here and we have a pointer t2 over here so what we have to compare since we have to check whether they are mirror image of itself na? Uh, whether they are mirror of itself so what we need to check is T1's left, this is T1's left, this node and this T1's left we need to compare with T2's right, T2's right, we need to compare them and T2, uh, T1's right, this thing we have to compare T1's right, we need to compare with T2, T2's left. See, so what we need to do is if this, if this is a mirror image and if this is a mirror image, right? And this T1 value is equal to T2 value. Means value should also be same, na? then only there will be mirror image. So if T1's value is equal equal to T2's value, T2's value, then and if these further subtrees, these further subtrees are also mirror image of itself. So here we'll have recursive form that whether the subtrees are also mirror image of itself, if all of these are true, then only we have our tree as a symmetric tree. Means the tree is a mirror of itself. Return true. So over here, if you see two is two, same three, is same as this and 4 is same as this. So this tree is a mirror image of itself. So let's say if over here it's instead of 4, it's 5. Then this tree will not be a mirror image. Why? Because the value is different now. Value should be same. Right. So I hope you understood what the problem is. Now let's quickly see the code once. So we have a function is symmetric and we'll be given the root of the tree. So what we are doing is we are calling this mirror function uh, is mirror function, which will tell us whether the tree is mirror image, mirror of itself or not. Now we are passing two parameters in this function, root and root. So you might be thinking that why we are passing two times the root. See, we need to check now whether it is symmetric around center or not. So means one, we have to check for this part and one for, we have to check for this part. So for this, that's why we have to have a root. We have to check for this so that, so we have to have a, a root uh, pointer for this and a root pointer for this, for this right half. So that's why we are taking, we are taking two parameters for root. So let's see what's there in, in this mirror function. So we are taking two, uh, uh, you can say pointer variables t1 t2 if both are null just return true means it might happen that uh, like we have a let's say uh, we have a single node so this is a single node or we we have an empty tree so when there is an empty tree it is obviously a mirror of itself so we will return true otherwise if any of them is null right then means if any of any one of either t1 or t2 is null 
then just return false means they are not same for example if we take an example let's say we have two three and over here let's say we have four five over here we have three but we have only five here we do not have four this side so although this will match this and this will match uh, this will match with this but four will not have a mirror of itself so this case will be handled by this case by this if and then we'll check whether the equal they are equal and we will do the recursive call for the uh, t1s left we have to compare with t2s right as we saw earlier as we saw earlier that what we were doing we comparing t1s left with t2s right and t2s right we were comparing with t2s left so t1s left with t2s right t1s right with t2s left and all of these should be true in order then only it will be returned true i hope you understood what the problem is and it's very easy problem so the time complexity for this will be o of n as uh, where n is the number of nodes as we are going at each node and uh, space complexity will be if we do not take the recursive uh, stack so it will be o of n uh, o of 1 constant as we are not uh, taking any extra step if we do not consider the recursive stack i hope you understood the problem and the approach do let me know in the comments if you have any doubt and uh, if you like the video please like it and thanks for watching